Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about because we can, can, and the can, can, and can, can, and can, can, and we will. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be talking about needing leaks. And her image being on College Hill. Child, Miss Nene and Mr. Ray J, they ain't nothing but bullies. They ain't nothing but bullies, okay? But I can understand Ray J bullying this because he is kind of soft-hearted, play-hearted, you know, kind of teasing. But Nene, hers just come out of nowhere. I'm like, and she thought she was going to be the piece of resistance, the matriarch over there at the house of College Hill between India Love, Cash Doll, uh, who else young in there? Sure, we're going to be talking about no Ray J. I know Ray J got to be in his 30s or 40s, right? Um... Who else was there? Lamar Odom and Frida. But Frida to me, from watching the three episodes I did watch, she became the matriarch of the whole group. Even though Nene was pushing for it and trying to be about that life and all like that, trying to bully Stacey Dash. Now, Stacey Dash, I don't know what happened to her. She's in, when she was in Clueless and what other movie she played in? Uh, single, single Ladies with Queen Latifah and stuff. Or the, the thing that Queen Latifah had made up for her to play. She was very fierce. And um, not, uh, nobody could really get her together. She was like in control. She had great self-esteem about herself. And all those good attributes. But when she came over here at College Hill, I was like, who the hell, what's going on? And shout out to Broken Silence. And shout out to Sky Ritchie. Uh, over there on his platform because I did use one of his pictures as my thumbnail but like I said I, I don't uh, really be looking that hard when people be putting their trademark on it or whatever not so uh, please excuse me doc uh, Guy Richard or not Guy Richard Sky Richard for using one of your pictures because one of your stances were on my show my platform saying why did you have to use his thing you want to take the whole thing i'm like girl calm down relax and enjoy the show if not get the fuck out okay that's pretty much how i had saw it as uh but anyway shout out to you uh dj sky richard uh i think he's friends with funky dineva too so Everybody go over there and see what he's got cooking on the stove and see if you can stomach it. If so, relax, relate, release, and, you know, have good times over there with uh, Sky Richard, okay? Tell them old Dave Chanel, 40s were sent you over there. But it was nothing about stealing or taking anything or malicious, doing anything with uh, Sky Richie's uh, picture. It's just when I go and I go selecting pictures for my videos, sometimes I do not really look or pay attention to the trademark unless it's just so pronounced out there. And then I will give them the shout out. But his uh, little watermark or his trademark, I didn't see when I was selecting. So I just wanted to clear that up because they don't take nobody's um, stuff, okay? without paying homage to them i am full-fledged about that i'm not trying to take anybody's stuff and not give them no shine or where they got it because i don't need it i got my own shine over here and i pay attention to my lane my role that i play on my platform so i ain't got time to be starting beef and wars and this that and the third but see sometimes it be those subscribers that be doing this shit so I call file on that uh, subscriber that's trying to shout me out in the negative, but it is what it is. You know who loyal to you, and you don't have time to be going around chasing everybody down. Because Lord knows some people have definitely used my soap opera videos, okay? They didn't know who they were. They are just putting it up there. But I saw it as, a, 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 you know, an honor thing. You know, if you're going to use your platform and show all my videos, and then they really got to go find out who really made those videos, that's bringing traction to my, my site, so... 
It is what it is. I thought I'd make that disclaimer as we go along. But see, Nene, she had put something on her Twitter account that I got to come back and talk about. But I want to talk about her in College Hill and how her and Ray J just tried to destroy Stacey Dash but came to her like sheep in wool clothing, like they were for her when they really was against her. Yes, I'm talking about Ray J and Nene Lee. But Nene Lee, she's the oldest one there. She should behave more appropriately and she knew better not to be doing targeting people like that if people want to come in and not say too much right now maybe they just observe it maybe they just like stand off uh because maybe they're going through something you never know what station dash was going through when she signed up for college hill because to me she really didn't seem like she needed to be there or any on anybody's platform she just seems like Something wasn't right with her. It's like she was jittery all the time. She acted like she was high all the time. And I don't know if she was high on prescription medications or she was high on the ooey. Don't really know, don't really care, but it just seems like she was off. And then we got um, India Love over him trying to make us believe that she just so not together. She just so not put together, but she's an influencer. But <laughs> I'm like, so how did the two go? Because you got to be able to interact with people and... and to sell yourself and whatever you're trying to say, sell through your business. You see what I'm saying? So I call foul on her behind. But she's young, she's cute, she's vibrant, and she's just trying to feel her way through the world to see how she's going to land on her feet or not. Okay, so that was a good thing. That was uh, India Love over there trying to play up for the cameras and for the um, the counselor she was seeing when she was at college, she was filming. And I'm like, girl, you have a voice. You are using that voice, so stop it and go on and be the person that you call yourself wanting to be. Now we got Cash Doll over there. She's tripping all kinds of ways. She's coming to class. Uh, not appropriate. <laughs> and the professor actually tells her, that's not appropriate. Don't want that shit back here no more. Okay, be seen but well be heard but not seen in a sense if y'all get where i'm going there but this video is really not about the other characters on the show because they're young they dumb they having fun and i guess they will learn from their mistakes as they go on through life but we're gonna be talking yes right i want to say uh brandy come get your brother ray, ray j come get your brother ray j because he's talking about some hee-haw hee-haw motherfucker what is he talking about and he all throughout the show is like he was trying to be there and not be there at the same time. He was saying him and uh, his wife were getting divorced. He don't want a divorce. He want his family. But he still keep uh, fooling around on her. I forgot what the child's name was. Child, what that child's name he's supposed to be messing with? Princess Love. Johnson. Ray J's wife is Princess Love. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's supposed to be, you know, trying to save his marriage and stuff. I don't know how many times they done got to the courthouse to get a divorce but never came full circle with the divorce so you know that ain't nothing but talk that ain't nothing but you know him trying to play the okie doke on us and we really we don't care if he stays married or he stays divorced we really don't give a shit but i was just mad at you know them coming at stacy dash because you know she was a full-fledged woman on that single ladies a lady single something queen latifah had put together and then clueless she was uh just a force to be reckoned with she was on uh she was on spot with everything she was trying to uh show and prove she was very confident is what i'm trying to get to but when she's on college hill it's like she was just lost in space and, and just everywhere but nowhere at the same damn time and i was like wait a minute what's wrong with stacy and then she even kind of looked like she was like i said on some medication but she don't took too much of and she was just in a la la state but anyway um nini and um ray j and Ray J was following Nene's lead to say, we need to get her out of there. We need to get her out because she didn't have, I think Nene was just jealous because she didn't have a room to herself. It seemed like the only people that had room to themselves was Sky Richard and um, Stacey Dash. And they tried, well, they ain't day. It's just Ray J listening to Nene trying to stir up shit. They're saying, well, we need to change room assignments. Somebody else need to be in that room. And she need to be with someone. Um, she need to be with someone so she can open up. And I'm like, maybe Stacey didn't want to open up to none of y'all. Because hell, she was older than all the y'all that was in the house besides Nene and maybe Big Freedom. I'm not sure. But um, it was a hot mess. That's Cash Doll, ain't it, Shanta? That's Green Doll. But you know what I'm saying. 
Dream doll, cash doll. It don't make a difference. They all a doll. But, um, she had her stuff together, but she was kind of too cocky. Like, she was going to make older folks do things that she felt they should be doing when it's the other way around. Uh, she was happy about being in biology. Saying she would this, that, and the third. And then, you know, the lady clearly said, once you do these, um, verbal questions, you would get your full, um, credit hours or a, a full grade but she had like she didn't understand that shit she just kept going on and on and on going in the bathroom going out class i'm like girl you probably was something in high school you probably was a negative mess in high school but anyway they're young they're supposed to be acting all dumb and and, and trying to understand life as it's going along and as we know she's also on love and hip-hop so she got her first crash course in being in the celebrity world on that horrendous show. But it just is what it is. Jocelyn Hernandez got her start there. And she kind of went on up in the ranks of sexual exploited stuff out there. With her uh, cabaret show. And she's on P-Valley. So she's doing a lot of things in her arena where she wants to function in. And that's cool. Collected and we got it. That's good. But, um... You know, I don't know what station they're talking about. She, I think she just liked it, the ladies, and it took her back in her heyday of, uh, you know, being in a, a cheer spirit group or a cheerleader group or whatever. But she was trying to be a part of the dance group, and she couldn't get no steps together. I'm like, this is not the station dance that I remember in Clueless, okay? She's just not the one that I remember. So, and the girl was right, the captain right there. She had worked with, um, what's her name, Station, for some time. And we saw it. And Stacey was supposed to go back home or go back to her room and practice, 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 practice. So when the real McCoy came in, the real instructor went to see how far Stacey had got along and can she actually be a part of their celebration of a, a game they were going to be in. They wanted to sponsor or they wanted her to actually be there. And be able to do the steps. Uh, she wasn't quite getting it. And she felt some kind of way. And she tried to, tried to turn the whole scenario. Back on. Uh, the leader of the show. Or the leader of the uh, pack. Or that dance team. Behind him. That was a hot mess. And I said uh, uh, she don't need to be there. Because she's just not focused. She knows this is a bogus show. And she don't want to be there anymore. So. We took it that Nene, or uh, some few people in the uh, group, took it that they had really did her in when they had tried to take her room, room for her. Because she didn't um, want to be with someone. And that was just Nene playing her old dirty tricks to try to get her out of her room. So probably Nene could say, well, I'll have the big room. And, you know, that's just 101, uh, how to be a, a, a scammer and how to be... Uh, a shit stirrer, and that's all Nene was doing was shit stirrer. And you can't be playing around with these kids, be traumatizing them and stuff. And then you know she's uh much younger than I mean she's much older than uh Stacy. And like I said, Nene she, she tried to make like she was trying to be helpful, helpful to her, and you know wanted to see her do good and be there and look good on camera. And Nene was just full of shit. No, she didn't. She wanted to be the shit stirrer, and she. Um, teamed up with Ray J or enlisted him to help her do this feud with Stacy since she didn't want to talk to anybody and want to interact. And I was like, see, I thought Nene was being genuine, but she was. She's just being a shit stirrer. But, and she thought she was going to play the part of the matriarch where everybody's going to listen to her and come to her for advice. But hoo hoo hoo, look at, look at, look at who comes cooking. We got a uh, big freedom. Showing up and showing out and, and, and definitely improving herself. You know, she was just the epitome of somebody much older going back to school trying to get their degree to make them uh, a well-rounded individual, if you must. Okay? And it seemed like Cast Doll, wait a minute, Dream Doll and um, India Love, they really like trying to uh, talk with. Uh, Big Frida on the intimate side. You know what I'm saying? If she was giving great advice, she was giving great advice. I like Big Frida when she was trying to talk to Ray J about 
Look, man, you need to get it together or leave it alone. You know, ain't nobody against you. You you hurting yourself. And as we all saw throughout the uh, episodes, Ray J was just, he didn't really want to get nothing to do nothing with. He just wanted to be a clown. He did that successfully. He was just a jokester and the party goer of the group and then he finally left i think after season three so we won't see him again unless he can make an emergency appearance and then nene she was going back and forth because she had to i guess go back home to what i don't know because she only had the lounge to go to but maybe she had some other pertinent business to deal with maybe about her lawsuit who knows don't really care but now nene caught herself thinking she was going to be the crowd favorite when actually she became the crowd nuisance in a sense and i love that professor the marketing professor uh that was there uh trying to teach the little women a little something and the very little time she had to do it with uh with them and um also we didn't have to have either Stacey Dash or Nene Leakes on the show to tell you the truth. Because they didn't really make an impact other than what Nene Leakes does all the time. And that shit stir. I thought she was coming with something better. And of course they had Ray J only to just stir the pot along with Nene. And to be the class clown. And he did that very successfully. Very, very successfully. And like I said, Nene always thinks when she go into a a, a uh, position or be a part of a show she got to take it over instead of just blending in and letting people come to her if she if they wanted her to add more to whatever show or you know whatever performance she was in at the time because big frida she just sat back relaxed you know said we're gonna do good here we're gonna have this good experience we're gonna take from it the good parts and leave the bad parts alive. i mean she was just on top of everything and um, I really enjoyed her being on the show, but Slim Thug getting him a little bit. I don't know why they had Slim Thug uh, on the show, and he's trying to Mac. I think he was trying to Mac against a uh, Dream Doll. And I'm like, why is he here, Lord? Why is he here? He's supposed to be a rapper and all that kind of stuff. But he was going in and out because he had to make some appearances of uh, doing a rap show. I don't know what he was really doing, but he had made a few appearances uh, off camera, too. And then he came back. But we could have did, we really could have did without Slim Thug or Big Big Slim. We could have done, done without Nene. Now, I, I, enjoyed, I, I enjoyed Ray J. Ray J was just tripping and, and just saying all kinds of crazy stuff and trying to party with people he probably wouldn't even party with in his real life. But he was trying to make it do what it do. And he, he finally took his behind home. Um, and hopefully he don't come back, but I don't know if I really engage with looking at any more of College Hill, uh, since he's not on, gonna be on it, looks like, but, um, it was a good experience, but again, it just showed me how Nene thinks she's everything and anything and everything, and everybody need to be checking for her, when in actuality, she made a big fool of herself, uh, Big Frida took the, um, the stick of being most valuable player and people coming to the uh show wanting to see her so it wasn't about nini it was really about big freedom and i think nini knew that because she kind of like fell back to the wayside uh a little bit and she couldn't do nothing but allow freedom to take over because wasn't nobody checking for nini didn't nobody care about nini in the show you know and that's why she was trying to run up uh ray j and run up uh, lamar odom and then run up big freedom when they ain't want to be bothered with her and lord have mercy um what her name lamar odom he was just a stick on the wall he was there to be seen only when y'all wanted him to be seen because he wasn't there he wasn't there on big brother either but he trying to make his money he ain't no bad guy to uh say you wouldn't want to see him or anything Cause we want him to keep that money we just want him to stay away from them substances that make him go all the way left but yeah i just came out and wanted to do this little recap on nene being on college hill because see she still hadn't changed her ways and then she's on twitter trying to uh say something negative too and i'm like nene shut up and just let your case prevail so you could get whatever money you can get and whatnot i don't know if it's going to be in favor that you're going to be asked to come to any 
uh, of any shows, they're going to let you on. But if they paying you well, 9 times 10, they ain't going to let you on in the show. Uh, you just going to get what you got, and you're going to go on into the sunset. As far as they can be concerned about. Because unless they're ha hiring you to play the villain or somebody nasty or whatnot, I don't see what you can be pro possibly put on. Because that's all you've ever given us was self, 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 and shading someone else. So, that's all I got for this, y'all. Check out my another, uh, another video I'm going to put out with Nene being on Twitter talking about they always want to block this. They always want to block that. Like, Nene, come on. Get off the high horse. Just be human now. Just be human and a human being wanting to seek work. Okay? And don't always think that when you go on a show or a platform, it always got to be about you. Because it's not. College Hill showed that very clearly that it wasn't about you. It was about all the people that you were in the house with besides you. But that's all I got. Like a love, we gotta have more. Y'all know what to do. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.